Aries, you are up for the money. Energy reading for April. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Podcast carried everywhere. As for the reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I said all of that, let's go ahead and get into this. I'll use my Oracle deck. Actually, I'm going to use this one. I'll save that one for your other reading. Which, by the way, happy birthday to all the Aries out there. You will get a bonus money reading too. All of the other readings for April are up. So the general readings are up and the love readings are up. Because April is Aries season, you receive the bonus. So you receive the bonus general. You receive the bonus love reading as well. All right. So if you haven't checked those out, feel free to check them out. Let's get into it. May I have the energy for Aries for April? May I have the energy for Aries for April? May I have the energy for Aries for April? What is it that Aries needs to hear? What is it that Aries needs to hear? What is it that Aries needs to hear? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bottom of the deck. Face. Money skills. Investor. Taking risk. Face value. Career, self-made, fame, exposure, reputation. So some of you might be the public face of something. Some of you might even be a model, too. I don't know why modeling came to mind. But and specifically, I feel like some of you, if you do model, you're doing like facial skincare type stuff. It is what you're doing. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But for others of you, you may be the public face of something. Maybe you own your own company. Again, it says self-made as one of the things on here. And if you have a self-made company that you created from scratch and that you are nurturing and expanding and you're the face like you have to go places, you're the first person that people see when they think of your company. Now, for others of you, you just might be receiving some type of, I don't know why I heard notoriety. (laughs) That's not always a good thing. (laughs) But um, some type of recognition. I'll say that too. Some of you is going to be notoriety. For others of you, it's going to be recognition. But you may find people talking about something that you've done or work that you've done. Good, bad, or indifferent. So keep that in mind. All right, but face. And I just heard people will know your face. Now, for the other, these are some good cards. For the other two cards that came out, the other one is chess, money strategy, Wise spending, long game, career, military, leader, thinking it through. So for chess, this is saying that you're not doing things recklessly as much as you would like to sometimes because Aries, we're, you know, I'm saying where is it because I'm a cardinal sign too, I'm a cancer. But cardinal signs are usually ones that rush in, especially Aries too, because Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and Aries is like, okay, let's do it. So, yeah. However, the energy that you're in right now is you're like, okay, let me think these a few steps out and then take action. So I feel that you're strategizing and you're, you're deciding where you want to place your energy, where you want to place your time it is what you're doing. And also your money, too, because money is important to you as well. Now, the second card that came out is Feather. It says abundance, easy money, divine intervention, career, light work, air related, undecided or travel. Now, during the pre-shuffle, travel did come out in the other Oracle deck. So some of you may be traveling because you have to travel for work. Again, it can go back to this card that was at the bottom of the deck which is the face card, it can go back to that meaning what I was saying earlier. If you have a company that you're pretty much the owner and you built it from scratch, you are probably the face of that. If you are, then there may be some like some meetings or events or what have you that you have to travel to because people have to see your face. You can't send someone in your place because they're going to be like, well, who the hell is this person? That, that's not Aries. We're, we know this product by Aries 
face. So where is Aries? It's that type of thing. So you may have to do some traveling for product promotion or something like that. Or it's just, it's in whatever job description you have. All right. But um, there may be something with divine intervention too, which also we have a solar eclipse in April. So I can see some, should I say, energy of expansion happening during that period. Now, let's go ahead and clarify these. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? What is it that Aries needs to hear? What is it that Aries needs to hear? What is it that Aries needs to hear? Can we clarify the energy for the cards on the table? Energy for... Thank you. That just really slid to the side. Energy for the cards on the table. There's going to be some type of revelation. Thank you. Some of you are going to start putting family first. I feel for some of you, you may have been, and I know people like, Casey, where are you getting this from? The cards are on the table right now, and I'm going to show them to you in a minute. I'm just trying to get just a few more to get, see what, what's going on here. But some of you may have had a revelation that, hey, family is important, and I have to have family. So... You may recalibrate. Thank you. Whatever that is. Yeah. You're going to re you'll recalibrate in the family area. You're still pursuing your goals, you're still pursuing your dreams and and working and making things happen, especially if you're self-made. That takes a lot of energy. People don't understand who don't own businesses. It takes a lot of energy to run a business. It it really really does. And only other entrepreneurs will get it. Only other business owners will get it. So, yeah, but I feel also there's going to be some type of new idea, but there's definitely travel in here. Thank you. Well, that explains that. So, yeah, definitely travel. The travel is going to be international. It's going to be international travel. Bottom of the deck, page of swords. Some of you might be a messenger, too. Some of you might be a messenger. You might have air in your chart as well, or you could end up dealing with the messenger. Which could be an air sign. Specifically, Page of Swords is Aquarius. But air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now, the tower came out. That's the shocking event. This is the epiphany. This is the enlightenment. And with the tower, that's Mars energy, which is your energy as well. And also Scorpio energy too. The Ten of Cups came out reversed. That's what, what I was talking about, family. I feel there's some type of shocking event involving family ties. And I feel it's more of you've been working so much, you haven't had a lot of time for family. However, something, this tower moment is sort of like your epiphany. Where it's like, oh, okay, maybe I need to take my foot off the gas a little bit and spend just a little bit more time with like my niece, my nephew, my son, my daughter, my, you know, my grandmother, my grandfather, my, my mother, my father, cousins, whatever. Take your pick. And doing that. Now with the Ace of Wands coming out, which is also a travel card too. It's also about being inspired. It's about passion as well and new ideas. This is letting me know that you're still going for it. And you will find the balance. You'll find the balance between family and your career or your goals or your dreams. Or I just heard in my head, your destiny. Now, these three cards, Two of Wands, which is also a travel card, is, is because it's long-term planning, which makes sense because with the chess, it says long game in here. So that's Two of Wands energy. You're making it happen. Two plus one is three. Three of Wands, so your ships will come in. Now, Ten of Wands, things are kind of heavy right now in this period of April. But... You're going to make it through. You just have to have faith. The moon can be about faith. 
as well. Some of you, you may have some unsurety of, oh, will I be able to carry this load or will I be able to get through the cycle? The answer is yes. And also with the messenger with the page of swords, one thing that might help you is information. And the page of swords is one who receives information, one who delivers information, as in messages. But also the page of swords can gather information. For some of you, you may be gathering information to help you with your process. But what this energy is saying is that you have the abundance, you have the expansion because there is expansion in April based off of this energy. You're just going to have to figure out how to balance it out with family and everything else. But expect to travel. Like, expect to travel internationally. I'm not talking about domestically. This is, I'm getting international travel off of this. Especially with this Ten of Wands here. Because, in all the tarot decks is different, but if you notice in this particular deck, you have a woman traveling. And that ox is carrying all of those bags. And stuff. So, be prepared to travel internationally. All right, that is your money message, Aries. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Until next time, everyone, happy birthday again. Be blessed.